Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Tuesday, November 10th. We are itching closer to Thanksgiving and then Christmas. Uh, crazy times. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you today about uh, something that, um, you know, I... Uh, I've always kind of thought about, but I never really understood what I was feeling or what I was thinking. Do you, do you know what I mean? So basically, you know, recently, just with everything going on, you know, I've really thought a lot about what do we actually own in our business? You know, like, for example, when it comes to our clients, what do we actually own, right? Like, um, for example, uh, social media. Okay, I, I'm a big advocate. I've grown my entire business on social media. Well, what happens tomorrow if social media decides, you know, I'm no longer allowed to be on the platforms? I mean, I'm just saying, right? Because I mean, I don't. We don't own those platforms. Businesses do. Okay, we can be censored. We can be limited. You know, anything can happen. We can make a mistake. Somebody could come after us. What about? Websites like Fiverr or these other sites, right? We could be banned. We could be taken off of them. Uh, there's all kinds of things that could happen to us. Now, I'm not trying to uh, put a rain on anybody's parade. I'm just just pointing out something that that's kind of dawned on me. But when I think about what we actually own as business owners, okay, when it comes to like our business itself and being able to reach out to clients, if you think about it, the only thing that we really own are those email addresses. So, I mean, I never thought of it in that sense, right? Because, you know, so much of the work I do comes from websites and comes from places like Fiverr. And, you know, I love the site. Um, but as I think more about it, you know, you know what happens? You know, Fiverr giveth, Fiverr taketh away, as I've always talked about. But I think that emails... You know, if we have that list, we have a growing list. Think about it. Think about think about all the places that we work for voiceover. What are we never allowed to do? We're never allowed to get an email from them. We're never allowed to get any personal information. Well, why is that? Because they know that that personal information, those email addresses, phone numbers, etc., that is where the actual gold lies. That's where the actual asset lies, right? And now, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, I mean, they've curated, they've spent a lot of money to get those clients, et cetera, on acquisition. I get it. But for us, it's just something to think about, right, in the future is, you know, what do you actually own when it comes to your, your business and your clients? I mean, how do you actually get a hold of them? Does another site actually own that client? And, and you know what I mean by own that business. So if we're working through a freelance site, if you're working through any site, that's, those are not our customers. We are contractors being paid by those platforms in order to do work for that platform, that business. Like we are being paid by Fiverr to work for these people that Fiverr is finding and is bringing in, in to us, right? But bringing to Fiverr, then we're being paid by Fiverr, all right, uh, to do that, okay? We get paid 80% and they take 20%. So, you know, that happens across the board. That's why these sites don't want, they don't give us any personal information. We're not allowed to share any of our personal information. Okay. Um, and that's something that is key to just my thought process recently about what do we actually own? So the point of this whole video was as you're going about your everyday work and you're, you're, you're building your business and you're doing everything you can, make sure whenever possible, you get an email address you get a phone number, the name of the business, get the information about the business and, and put that down, put it on a spreadsheet. You own it then. You are able to get a hold of them. All right. It is now your asset. Without it, we are really beholden to everyone else. Okay. Um, all right. So just some thoughts for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you get a chance, please like and subscribe down below. Uh, also, if you don't realize, I just released a brand new marketing course, Marketing 101, uh, how to get uh, voiceover work um, and clients. It's a really fantastic. One of the best courses I've ever made. A link down below, if you're interested, will be there. Or you can go to aviosjourney.com and check it out. Otherwise, thank you so much. And you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.